family therapies. My father switched from alcohol to aquariums. He created <laughs> natural environments. Two 20-gallon tanks under the glass table, fresh and salt water. Cichlids and anemones, neon blue and red. We sat in the living room, mesmerized, watching the fish back and forth, back and forth. Roommate number 10. <laughs> Veronica, an attractive Serbian woman, recently divorced, agreed to be my roommate. She moved in during the day while I was at work. When I arrived home, she was sitting at her bed weeping. Her room piled with furniture, two large dressers, a gray sofa, a love seat standing sideways, tables stacked one on top of another, back-to-back -back upholstered chairs, and a sea of boxes. She couldn't close the bedroom door. I've made a huge mistake, she cried. Nothing fits. I thought you were going to sell the additional furniture or give it away. I couldn't do it, she sobbed hysterically. This furniture is my home. Let's go into the living room and talk, I said. You'll be more comfortable. I talked and she cried for an hour after mentioning that my super, who was from Serbia, as was her super, had shown her an apartment on the third floor. What? They showed you another apartment? Are you serious? I screened you, checked references, went to your apartment, helped decide what to bring, and now you're telling me you might move? I was getting louder. We're both exhausted. Let's talk again tomorrow. The next evening when I arrived home from work, Veronica informed me that she would move into her own apartment. You agreed to wait. I'm screwed. I have to look for another roommate. I want you to leave now. I can't. The apartment won't be ready for two weeks. They need to complete the paperwork and check my references. If you live here, you pay rent. I need it for the other apartment. You can keep my security deposit. Get out now, I screamed. Where would I go? My husband left me and my old apartment has been rented. I don't care. Find another place. She refused. As if nothing were wrong, Veronica remained pleasant and low-key. Clearly, she wanted me to forgive her. I didn't want to. I yelled at her. I yelled at the management company who coveted my two-bedroom apartment. I yelled at the super who once climbed up the safety ladder to the fire escape and flung himself to the far window of my bedroom to help me retrieve the keys. I imagined locking Veronica in her room with the furniture so she couldn't escape. <laughs> my throat hurt from screaming. I was exhausted and enraged. I couldn't sleep. My friends told me to throw her out. After a few days, I unlocked the imaginary door and let her stay. 